Hey guys, John here and welcome to NASCAR 6 Fantasy Cup 2. Today we are heading out to Phoenix Road Course, which is probably going to be a bit of a thing, but hey, let's see what we can do. Let's do this. And as we can see, we did take a bit of a tumble back down after getting the points lead the previous time, but oh well. I should say too, hold on, that I got another old classic hat of mine for this series. I've been been kind of finding some. It's a Kodak Racing. I think you can really see it on the side there, but it's Brendan Gone number 77. So in this game, the Kodak 77 is Travis Quapple. This hat is from the previous year when Brendan Gone was driving it. So, or is it the following year? I guess, I don't know. <laughs> it's either before or after this. Who freaking knows? Anyway, let's go. So, oh god, I was not prepared. Oh geez, all right, we're fine. So I don't have um, a custom setup for this. I tweaked it a little bit, just what I thought would work, but it may not be good. Uh, it's mostly default with just uh, a little adjustment. Okay, we got to be prepared for the big, big slowdowns. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> Bro, I was on my brake so hard there. Oh, Junior is not gonna be happy with me. Oh, and Kenseth also paid the price. Dang. That was, um. Yeah. I better go ahead and pit. I got all this damage, right? And we're back here anyway. Man, there's going to be multiple cautions from stuff falling off of those cars, probably. Kenseth's, Kenseth's car is so... Well, he's pitting. I don't think he'll repair, though. They never seem to. But yeah, that's... Whoops. <laughs> he did repair, but he beat me off pit road somehow, even though his car was completely totaled. Interesting. But he did pit, so that means stuff won't be falling off of him. It could be... Falling off of juniors, I guess. Oh god, don't go down pit road. Alright, let's um let's try to be a bit more prepared for that. I mean I was on the brakes, but uh But I was also trying to make a move there and I think I should have been a little bit more cautious in general. Oh Enzith is just not gonna like me after today. I'm just gonna keep hitting him. Alright. So brakes already. They just don't get through that turn well. This is actually fairly short uh, for the fantasy road courses. It's not a super long lap, all things considered. I mean, compared to you know some of the others. So uh, so yeah, I think we can expect to see this one go by a little bit more quickly than some. Oh, 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 careful. We just got to be... Oh my god, that wasn't even my fault. <laughs> um, we just got to be more cautious, as I am totally not being cautious. All right. So remember how all those allies that we made? Yeah, we're definitely going to be losing some of them. Um, some of them today, because... Uh, It's just they, they stop so much earlier than I'm inclined to. <laughs> and uh, we're definitely going to end up causing some grief for some people. All right. Yeah, the way they swing out coming out of that corner, that's what happened with uh, Petty. He, he just freaking doored me because of that. Oh, that was aggressive. <laughs> over the freaking curb. All right, all right. We're starting to make some progress through the field here. Kind of. <laughs> all right. 
I knew this one was going to be messy, and I also know that there's a good chance we won't end up winning it, but, um, you know, we can hope. I was completely and utterly on the brakes, Case King. <laughs> Who I called Bill Elliott a couple races ago. <laughs> Man, it all kind of blends together. Like, I don't always remember which uh which game is which and which one has who and what year and shut up <laughs> oh i hit the, the curb there it shot me up all right i was so slowing down oh my god truex I was so slowing down early, too. It was like he made a little shifting move there, and it, it's and he, like, choked up and, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> we still, we're still struggling a bit. I probably already have a bunch of damage again, but what can you do, you know? Don't hit the curb. Caution is out. Okay. Um, I don't know where we're at, like, fuel strategy-wise here. Should I pit again? Or probably not this time, I would assume. What happened, anyway? Oh, pieces falling off of Scott Riggs. Okay. <laughs> uh, this might be good strategy, but I think I'm just going to stay out. Like, I might have been able to... Uh, utilize that later or something but i think for now we're just gonna go oh you have to remember with the whole halfway on fuel thing that there were there was an early pit stop and then there was um a couple of laps there that was saved on fuel so we have to bear that in mind and no matter how much i think i'm being early on the brakes i'm not at okay, that time, I was so hard on the brakes that Walter ran in the back of me. I like how he got mad at me about that, as if he's not the one who ran into me, but whatever. Who's this? Oh, it's Rusty Wallace. I didn't recognize the car from behind here. Oh, Russell. Oh. Sterling Marlin. Yeah, I, I kind of think uh, I'm going in the grass because I can't stop for some reason. All right, caution comes out again. I was on the brakes, but it just wasn't going, uh, going where I wanted it to go. So more debris. All right. <laughs> of course. Hmm. To watch and make sure they're not. You know what? I'm going to do something. Never mind, I'm not going to do something crazy. You don't have enough time to even think about that. I was going to go ahead and put it right there. Shake things up, but, um... Okay, it's probably for the best. It's probably for the best. Alright, that's another caution that's going to throw off our laps as far as how much fuel we need, but hey. There's a possibility that it'll only be a one-stop race. Well, <laughs> we've already pitted, but you know what I mean. Um... Okay, I'm wearing that 77 hat, different driver, different sponsor, but ow. Didn't want to kill him either way, even though I'm not a big fan of Quapple. Looks like his son is shaping up to be a good driver, though. Seems to have some talent. Interesting to see. Is that, uh, that's the 38 car, yeah. What the frig, Jimmy Johnson? What did he do that for? Oh, he's not going to go early enough to really see how he freaking just cut across my freaking nose. God dang, dude. Wow. You know what? I'm going to pit. Frick it. Shake things up. Probably a mistake, but let's shake things up. Yeah. 
We're going to be the only one down, so repair, all that stuff. Is this a mistake? Maybe, but it's just something I want to do. Okay. So we're starting at the rear again. Hey, we're back here with Matt Kenseth once again. <laughs> Take him out again, please. Thank you. Oh, almost unsettled the car big there. Another caution has occurred. What was that? It looked like somebody I was up. What? Hmm. It looked like somebody was up against the wall, but. I don't know. Alright. Uh, not this time. Okay. I gotta be careful with that, though, because if they pit, I should probably pit at least for a splash of fuel, right? Oh, got in the back of Kansas. Sorry. Careful now. Oh. Kill anybody, okay. Alright. Caution is down again, dude. It's gotta be more just debris, right? Yeah. It's freaking of course. Just constant. And this is shortening this race so much. Uh I gotta see, are they pitting? Yes, they are. All right. So I'm going to come down pit road, I guess, for fuel only. I wonder if I could have made it. I have no clue what my fuel expense has been in this race because I've never made it to where it says halfway. All right. So no tires, no repair, only fuel. This should gain us some spots. I mean, we lost a bunch of time there just trying to get on pit road, but this should gain us about halfway through the field, I would assume. We lose so much time just being choked up behind them, though, there. It's annoying, but yeah. All right. Make it quick, boys. Just top it off. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, go, go, go. All right. So what are we, like, 20th? Oh, better. Nice. We are 12th. Very good. Okay. Question is, can we make it from here? It's, a, it's close to halfway, but I don't know what the fuel expense is going to be like because there's just been so many cautions. All right. <laughs> Some damage there. Ooh, we gonna take a chance. Ah, okay, that was that was too much of a chance. Sorry, sorry. Uh, that was that was on me. That was on me. I thought I could woe it up enough to not do what I did, and then I hopped the curve on top of that, so it just added to the problem. It was rusty again. And quabble. Wait, the field has shuffled a little because these guys were yeah these guys were not this far up last time I saw them definite shuffling of things oh that was crazy ah don't flip the car don't flip the car <laughs> how did I get away with that oh my god <laughs> well, here's our highlight for the friggin' episode. How on earth? I thought, man, that was a beautiful save. And <laughs> then it just bicycles. I thought we were about to go over, dude. That was nuts. Alright, we're in third. I don't know 
I don't know what the fuel situation is going to be. We're going to find out as it goes, I guess. If we have to pit again and they don't, obviously the race is done for. But, uh... We'll see, I guess. I mean, if it's it was a normal one-stop kind of race and we just pitted there right around halfway and there's bound to probably be another caution at this rate um then we should be okay but if it was meant to possibly be two then uh yeah, i don't know what our time is gonna wow carl well there's a caution <laughs> i mean he threw that block and i tapped him and then he carried way too much speed and then boom so, whoops, no, he still ends up in front of me because the field freezes and then there you go, that's crazy, but yeah, um, okay, Carl going from wrecking to looking for the lead on Jeff Gordon here. Oh, he gets into Gordon. They both wash high and wide. Swing back down into me, running me off the track. Freaking dive it in deep on Edwards. What? This lap is crazy. Holy moly. Not as crazy as the one where I bicycled, but that was a crazy chain of events that led to us being in the lead. 40 laps completed. First lap led. Now it's time to pull away because I can run my line the way I want to run it, as deep as I want to run it. I can get away with a lot more without them in front of me, too. Oh, God. Let's not do that. So I could, like, arc the corners. Like, okay, don't go over the curb like that. I can arc it in, though. Save a bunch of time. So let's pull away as far as we can, and we'll see what happens with the fuel. <laughs> I mean, that caution right there saved us a lap or two of fuel, so I, th I have to assume we'll probably be okay. But I should never assume things with <laughs> this game. You never know. I mean, as far as, like, pit stuff, it's, it's not as unpredictable as, uh, say, 07, where I just never really know what's happening. But um, I should not keep going over that curve, by the way. Just put that out there. Um, I never really know what's happening in that game. And this one is a little bit easier for me to predict. But it's just with everything the way it went. I'm not entirely sure uh, we can make it. But I'm going to assume just because, you know, the laps aren't super long and all that stuff fairly normal ish race that it was meant to be a one stopper and um, that we uh, you know that we should be okay we obviously pitted three times or whatever but <laughs> that's beside the point we are pulling away though now so I guess we'll see how this plays out <laughs> So, you know, last time I was talking about possibly bringing NASCAR 07 back, and I, I do still have that in the back of my mind. Um, because, for one thing, it's a lot of footage that I can re-upload here, and even though I said that would be kind of a pain, um, it is, you know, it's a nice big chunk of... That was almost the end of everything. Wow. I glanced at the camera and drove almost right into that divider. Holy frick, this race is crazy. <laughs> Keeps taking me by surprise. Anyway, um, it'd be a big chunk of content and, and stuff I could put on the channel that might help, you know, with my whole watch time situation and all that. So that's good to think about. Um, but uh, another thing I was thinking of, though, I, I was going back through some old videos looking at series that maybe I uh, have left incomplete, things like that. And I realized it, it completely just 
slipped my mind. But I realized that um, on this channel, not on the racing channel, on this channel, I had done one season of NASCAR 2005, the game before this one. And uh, I went through the, the modified season, and I guess probably truck hot seats or whatever. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, not hot seats, but test sessions in in, the, in these games. But uh, and after season one, I stopped. So maybe I bring that back instead of 07 because I mean, even if I bring 07 back, you know, it's going to be such a long time of catching up on the on the reuploads whenever I do start it. It's like it's not a big rush for me to even get back to playing it, right? But 2005 could be fun. I mean, the thing with the thing with that game is that it's easy, right? Like even this game on Legend Difficulty is easy for me just because I've played it so much and I understand it so well and all that. But that game is easier even. Not always, I guess, but in the right circumstances, it's it's a little too easy, it feels like. Um, but, you know, I could always make my own my own difficulty doing like I'm doing in this series, not qualifying or something like that. Make it more interesting. I don't know. I mean, it's something I haven't done, right? I've played this game pretty much to death and here I am playing it again. I've almost completed 07's career enough to know that I really don't want to do a whole lot more with it <laughs> other than maybe just finishing it at some point. Um, with the newer games, I mean, I got Heat 5 going, but I have no interest in, you know, most of the games that came between this era and the current one, I have no interest in. And then the new stuff, I don't have an interest in. So it's like, Revisiting stuff is about all I've got left, and 05 is one that I have not done a lot with as far as the channel and all goes. So, um, let me know what you think about that. Would you like to see me get back to NASCAR 2005? I mean, by the time you see this, I may have already made up my mind or changed my mind. Who friggin' knows? It's not like I'm gonna immediately start back into it because I've got. A lot of things on my plate right now but yeah you guys can give me feedback and it might help me make up my mind later we'll see but it's, it's a thought um, now some of you might be thinking you know well what about dirt to Daytona you didn't finish the, your revisit to that or trying you know one of the Thunder games again. And here's the thing. I, I'm, I've am i made up my mind that I'm just not going to do the Thunder games anymore. And um, I think the main thing for me is just there's too much of a commitment to the grind. It just it takes you so long to get competitive unless you play on the lowest difficulty. Even then, um, on the lowest possible difficulty, it still takes you a long time to be competitive. And I get it. Like, that's kind of the whole point, right? You spend two or three seasons fighting to not be last, to get a top 30, you know, whatever. Make money, earn upgrades, all that good stuff. And then, you know, you, uh, you know, build your way up. <laughs> and uh, I get that. But that is, that is such a long commitment, right? Because like, even just two seasons, that's 72 races. And I'm typically going to be doing one per episode. So you're talking 72 episodes of struggling to start the next season and hope that you've done enough upgrades where you might actually be competitive out of the box. Occasionally. <laughs> even then at certain tracks you won't be. And, and again, that's me playing on the lowest difficulty too, which in my opinion 
it's kind of a downer for you guys watching because a lot of you who are better at the game play on a higher difficulty or just prefer watching someone be better at the game and play on a higher difficulty so you might be like eh watching you actually succeed john when you're only on rookie difficulty is still boring it's like i get that all right halfway on fuel uh still got coming to 13 yeah we should be fine i think we'll be okay it was like 30 four laps to go when we pitted last and then there was a caution that saved us a couple laps of fuel but then halfway with 13 to go yeah we're fine anyway so i just feel like that's not a good choice the thunder games are not a good choice for me as a content creator you know having seen my buddy mcblam succeed and, and conquer that uh, that game thunder 03 he you know that's a testament to what he's capable of doing and it was great to watch i just don't want to have to do it like even if i could get as good at the game as he is which i'm not going to um putting myself through that you know multiple years <laughs> thing and uh, no that, that i'm just not gonna commit to that so i'm sorry that's not an option uh and then dirt to daytona you know i, I had returned to it and I was, I was streaming it, and I was going to make episodes out of it or whatever. I did make some, I guess. Um, and uh, it just... I guess I just kind of forgot what it's like as you go along. Because you improve, 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 and then the AI just sort of auto-corrects back up to you. So it's like you don't even get to enjoy stomping them in the lower series as you progress because they get too good. So it's like it gets to a point where you can't even win in dirt even with the best maxed out equipment because they've gotten that much better. So when you need a break from running 15th in the trucks you still can't win a dirt race or whatever um and then the physics model of the the last couple series the trucks and the cup it's really not that enjoyable to play for me i don't really love how those cars handle um and trucks most mostly it's the cup cars though they they just have a really weird handling model and uh yeah all right well we've caught the rear of the field here <laughs> nine laps to go um got to be careful here we haven't been in traffic for a while so we got to be sure we're not running people over and getting in a wreck and bringing out a caution and erasing our big lead so let's let's try to be real cautious here um, but, uh, anyway, yeah, so I just don't think that those are good options for, for the channel, for me. And, um, you know, I'm sure that disappoints some of you who hope to see those someday return, be finished, be started over again, or whatever. And I'm not saying I wouldn't possibly do something with them, um... I did toy around with the idea of maybe doing like a request series kind of thing again where I might play games like that because people want to see me do a race in them or whatever, but I just don't want to commit to like the whole career multiple years thing for, for those games because they just, they're just not for me in, in that, in that grand scheme of things. So hopefully you guys can understand that. Um, but, like I say, so since I'm not going to go back that far, and because there's nothing really in between, or current, <laughs> that could be added, um, going back to and, and maybe finishing 05 is really the only option we have for something that's different, that isn't a repeat or, you know, something I've already, uh, written off. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I've been blathering on about this for a while. Um, <laughs> but, uh, 
I just felt like it was something worth chatting about. <laughs> to pass the time. All right. We're getting through live traffic okay. I should probably still be a little, uh, a little more cautious than I am. Because a caution would just overly complicate things. You don't need that, that level of complication. Definitely don't. But, uh, let's see. I feel like there was something else I was going to say about all of that. <laughs> I don't know what it was, though. Either way, feedback is always appreciated from you guys and, and so on. And, uh, ideas and, yeah. I can't believe Jeff Green's my ally. I have so much trouble with him in like Heat 5 and stuff. Okay. Four laps to go. Tires are starting to wear a bit. But I think we'll. Okay, well. <laughs> mentioned being his friend, huh? And then I uh, do that. That was very close to the wall there. That was a very aggressive corner. I've really got to stop being this aggressive. I mean, I've got almost a six second lead, but if there's a caution, that lead gets erased. So I need to just chill, man. There's really no need to be fighting these guys this freaking hard. It's just a matter of if I see cars, I want to pass them, you know? Just, um, it's the way it is. All right, orange fuel lap, that's okay. We got plenty of fuel. Oh, God. That was very aggressive. Oh, he hopped the curb and almost died. That would have been a caution, but it didn't become one, thankfully. Elliot Sadler in that combos car. <laughs> Two laps to go. Lapped about about fifteen people, I think, give or take. Okay, that was unnecessary. Why did I take them three wide? Why do I keep saying don't be aggressive and then still be aggressive? <laughs> Why do I do these things? It's kind of dumb. White Flag is out, brought to you by McDonald's, I guess. I haven't eaten at a McDonald's in, I want to say, probably not quite a year. It's probably been like 10 months or something, but a long time. I've not had McDonald's. But they sponsor me in this series. So yay, McDonald's. <laughs> All right. Oh, we win in dominant fashion. It was a bit messy at the beginning. Uh, but we worked it out, you know. Okay, how about some smoke, please? There we go. That real smoke. That's what I'm looking for. Whoa, that was close to the wall. <laughs> oh, man. Alrighty, let's look at those race results. We led 28 laps, but not the most. Jeff Gordon led 30 laps, led the most laps, and finished second. Then we got Carl Edwards, Martin Martin, Travis Quapple with the top five. Interesting. Mike Bliss with another good run. He's just been so good lately. Tony Stewart. Rusty Wallace, Sterling Marlin, and I'm not sure, sure which bush this is. I think it was Kyle. I think I saw Kyle up front at one point. And he led uh, 58, 6. Okay, he didn't. I was going to say the rest of the laps, but no, Kevin Harvick led a single lap as well. 
must have been I don't know when but uh, there you go and that's everybody who led laps scrolling down through the rest of the field see where everybody else was Kenny Wallace with a solid run there Jimmy Johnson fell there a bit I would say and Kenseth we know had a lot of trouble thanks to us but he did rally a few spots uh, wait Jimmy Johnson. Wait, no, this is probably one of the fantasy drivers who's just like Jeff Johnson or something, right? Okay. I was going to say that doesn't make any freaking sense, but sure. <laughs> I was like, why are there two Jay Johnsons? Uh, could be his brother Jarrett, I guess. Anyway, I don't think he's in the game, but, you know, so we could pretend... Uh, Michael Waltrip, not a good day. Casey Kane, not a good day. Ken Trader. All right. Well, there you go. We got the win. That's the most important thing. And now we get to celebrate. Honestly, didn't think we'd win this one. I had mixed emotions, but we did it. And uh, I'm happy. Alrighty, so after that race, let's see the point standings. We move back into the points lead once again by 12 points over Tony Stewart. We just keep going back and forth. Greg Biffle, 59 points back in third. Then we've got Carl Edwards, Jeff Gordon, who's now moved himself into the top five after a rough start of the season that saw him pretty low in points. He's now in the top five, so that's good for him. we got Kevin Harvick, Ryan Newman, Jimmy Johnson, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Elliot Sadler. And look at Mike Bliss. Like I said, he's just been solid. He's been solid. He is sitting 11th in the points. He's beaten Mark Martin, Kurt Busch. Hopple's running really well for some reason. Um, so yeah, let's scroll on down through the field here. Matt Kansas still having a rough way to go. So I'm looking for, okay, it's J.J. Johnson is who that Johnson is. Interesting. No idea who you are, dude, but okay. I mean, his debut race and he finished like, what was it? 20 something. So I guess, uh, anyway, <laughs> Whoops, not that. That's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hammer that like button, share with your friends, subscribe if you're new, all that good stuff. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought and your thoughts on the stuff I was talking about earlier. And uh, next episode, oh uh, yeah, Bristol Under the Lights. Should be fun. See you guys then. Bye. Just shut up.